This is Scott with Sumitomo Drive Technologies. And, and as we talked about last time, we're going to show you some hands-on videos. Today we're going to do cyclo assembly. I have Barney, a technician with Sumitomo Drive Technologies. So here we go. Hey, any, any, anytime before any type of mechanical assembly, you always want to make sure you have a good uh, set of paperwork. We call ours a bill of materials or BOM. You want to make sure that the parts match the paperwork. That way the technician and your assembler has a good chance of, of getting the job right. Also, which is very important, is make sure you have your assembly instructions, which we call uh, a standard practice. Um, today, uh, Barney's going to be assembling. He's already gone through and has his tools set up to match the standard practice, which in this case, uh, one of the most important things is bolt torque. Always before we get started, we want to make sure that we're working in a safe, safe environment. Make sure that there's no grease on the floor. Make sure you have your proper PPE, which in this case would be safety glasses. We are going to be using some, uh, some lubrication. In this case, it'll be grease. Um, if you're sensitive to grease, you know, you always have some gloves or whatever you think is best for you. All right, so Barney already has his parts laid out. We're going to point at each part so everybody understands the nomenclature for the ease of understanding the video. So this is your gasket set. Next is the high-speed in-shield assembly. You have your grease plug. You have your eccentric key. You have your bottom spacer. You have the ring gear housing assembly. You have the eccentric bearing, or some people call that an eccentric cam. You have your set of cyclo, cyclo disc. You have your cyclo disc spacer. You have the slow speed rollers. This is the top bearing. This is the top spacer. You have your hanger. This is the gearbox hanger. You have your hardware. And then you have your high speed key, which will be installed last. And that would be the customer's connection, the high speed and the low speed key. And last, you have your slow speed assembly, or some people call that an output block. You can see that's already assembled. There's two bearings in there. There's also a seal collar and a low speed seal. The key is already taped to the low speed shaft. First thing, if we, we build the unit from the high speed to the low speed. He's placing the high speed shield assembly right side up to begin to install the grease plug. He's placing the high speed assembly, high speed shield assembly upside down to begin the assembly process. Yep. That's the installs the bottom spacer. He's installing the eccentric key. And sometimes the eccentric key will require a light tap with the hammer. Keys installed. Next will be a gasket. And a good practice with the gasket is to apply some gasket adhesive. In this case, we will not do it because we will be disassembling this unit. Align the gasket up with your through holes. Next, he's installing the ring gear housing assembly. And the kits come with the ring gear pin and roller holder that's inside. It's a piece of foam. Remove the foam. Make sure all your rollers and pins and rollers are lined up. It's a, it's a good practice. practice. This is what we do to go ahead and grease the lower bearing, which is actually the high speed bearing. In this case, an assembly, we'll call it the lower, the, the lower bearing. You should, you should put a good layer of grease before you install your first cyclo, cyclo disc. He's also going to run that grease around the rollers, or in this case it's pins only, 
This, helps, this also helps keep the pins and rollers in place when you're installing your disc. The first disc will go in, always have your, there, there's a ratio stamped on there, usually a frame and also a set. We want to make sure that it goes numbers up. And this is for the alignment of the second disc. Next will be the eccentric cam. It's always numbers up. The, the cams are stamped also with a ratio. And we're always making sure that the parts match. He's always double checking the numbers. Very important. Next, you install your cyclo disc spacer. We put another light layer of grease in between. And the, and, and the lubrication is very, very important for you know, that, that initial startup. Take, take the grease and we go around the rollers of the eccentric. Remember to keep in mind the eccentric is a bearing. So what he's doing now is he's checking the numbers and the, the, the number combination of the set must be 180 degrees out. Next is he's going to install each slow speed roller. If the discs are lined up, the rollers are really easy to install. If they don't, if there's a little bit of difficulty, double check to make sure that the discs are lined up 180 degrees out of the set number. If, if it's still a little difficult, you can rotate the high speed shaft slightly and the rollers should drop right in. Next is the top spacer. the top bearing and we use a jig that, to install the top bearing. The jig is designed it to have impact on the inner race only. Add more grease to the bearing. This is to ensure that bearing is lubricated at the initial startup. And this size unit is uh, in a single reduction, is a grease for life unit. So we always want to make sure that we're doing proper lubrication uh, application during the assembly. He's now installing the second gasket. Next will be the slow speed shaft assembly. Always make sure it's clean, free of debris. I want to make sure that the slow speed pins should drop right in. You might have to rotate it slightly, as you can see Barney's doing right now. This is the gearbox hanger. You can put two bolts in there to hold that in. He's now going to remove the jig.
All right, he's going he's gonna to run a first pass and tighten the bolts. You want to tighten the, tighten the bolts in a star pattern. All right, so, so he's, he's completed the main assembly. Now we're going to do the finished assembly, which we want to make sure we torque the bolts to the proper torque. Last, he's going to install the high-speed key. This also should be an assembly fit. This completes the assembly of a 610 Cyclo. Hey, this is Scott with Sumitomo Drive Technologies. Uh, I know that's just, I see how you want to try? No. You go, you doing good. <laughs>